Hi, in this video I'm going to learn how to partition an external hard disk. So this is an example of an external hard disk and we are going to use this in this practice to partition a one terabyte hard disk. If that is something you are interested in, then keep on watching. Hi, I'm Dr. Honya Obed and you're welcome to the Digital School Academy channel. On this channel, we put out a lot of videos relating to tech, software, mobile apps, and various digital skills. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, hit the bell icon so that anytime we release a new video, you'll be duly informed. Let's get into the computer and let me show you exactly how to partition your external hard disk. So the first thing you want to do in order to partition your hard disk, obviously, is to connect the hard disk to the computer. So let's connect the hard disk to the computer. Then after connecting the hard disk to the computer, you would have to locate the hard disk on the computer to make sure that it's really there. So let's go to my PC. You can use the shortcut Windows key plus E and that brings you here, click on this PC or yeah, so this is a Seagate expansion drive and that is what we are interested in and just so you may know we have three different drives including a standard that we just inserted. So now the process to partition this, to partition it, you are going to use what we call disk management on your Windows 10 machine or any other Windows version that you are using, disk management. So press the Windows key, then search for disk management. So when you start searching for disk management, look out for create and format hard disk partitions. Let me mention that this is a, a brand new hard disk. Okay, so we can go ahead and do just that. And even if it is not a new one, you can still partition it without formatting it using this uh, process. So this process is not going to end up formatting the contents that you have on it. If you already have content on it, it's going to be put onto one particular partition, then you are going to work on the others. In fact, you are only going to be allowed to partition or use the unused space in creating your partition. So we don't need to worry about that. Go ahead and click on this, create and format hard disk. When we click on that, we are going to get a list of all the hard drives inside the computer right now. So as you can see, we have disk zero, which is 931, that's approximately one terabyte as well. Then disk one, which is around 120 megabyte. Then we also have disk two, which is one terabyte. So before you proceed, you want to make sure that you know exactly which is which. So the first one is one terabyte as well as the last one. That is disk zero and disk two are all one terabyte. So which one in particular am I looking for? That is why I made us open our disk first on my computer to see exactly what was there. So disk drive E, E is what we are looking for. Drive C and drive D is not what you are looking for. So make sure you identify those two so when you come here, we don't want drive D, we don't want drive C, we want drive E. So that means that over here it is called disk 2. So once you identify this, go ahead, right click on this one. So the Seagate expansion drive is what we are using. Right click on it. Then when you right click on it, you find shrink volume. Okay, so that is the command that we're going to use, shrink volume. Click on that and let's wait for it. Good. So as we want to shrink the volume, it's asking, these are information that we've been presented with. The total size before we shrink it is around 953,867. That's what we have here. Then the size of available shrink space in megabytes. So the available space that we can shrink is the 950,745. So enter the amount of space you want to shrink by so this is the size that you want to create so now we are creating or we are dividing the hard disk into two different 
volumes. If you want more, you can as well do that. We are going to, in this lesson, do just two. So let's use, we are going to divide it into 450 and the rest. So 450,000. The moment I enter 450,000, that's the amount of space to shrink. Then the total size that will be left after shrink is this, 500 and something. So I can go ahead and say shrink that for me. Good. So now you can see on your screen that the hard X has been divided into two. We have the 492, then we have the 439 which is unallocated. Okay, so we can go ahead and create a new simple volume out of the unallocated space. Once we create that, then we have gotten the new partition that we want. So we'll go to next, then also next, then the disk drive, any of them that works with you, you can choose, then continue. So, here to name it, I want to call it backups. So the volume label, that's the new partition that you are creating. How do you want to call it? Then continue, next, then finish. Okay, so let's wait for it. Good, so now we've created the partition. We have the original, which is a Seagate expansion drive. Then we have what we just created as backups. So if you can see on my screen now, now we have four different drives instead of the original three, meaning I've been able to partition the external hard disk to have two. The first one is about 492 gig and the second one is about 439 gig. And that is exactly how to partition the disk. So let me take it out and insert it back in for you to see that really that is what we just did. So as you can see, I've taken it out and the two extra are gone. If I put it back in there, we have two drives more adding up. And that tells us that we have partitioned it. In summary, how we got here or how we did it, we searched for disk management by pressing the Windows key and searching for it. Then when you search for disk management, you find create and format hard disk so you select that one it brings you a list of all the hard drives that you have on your computer select a particular one that you want if it is this you can right click on it and go to shrink volume so you can create as many partitions as you want even with the one the hard disk your internal hard disk you can do the same with it i hope you've learned something new from this video if you like the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and also if you have any questions do comment it down below if you are yet to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button for more videos like this in fact we have a lot in stock for you so do all to click on the subscribe button and also you can join the digital school academy telegram channel or telegram group as well look for the link in the description below and i'll see you in the next video bye bye